Hello everyone, greetings from Yushalayim, from the bedroom of the apartment where I'm staying. Uh, it's so, so beautiful here. I arrived a few hours ago and uh, I'm just filled with gratitude at the opportunity to be here. In Parashat Mishpatim, one of the mitzvot that appear, uh, not for the first time, not for the last time, is the um, command to observe Shabbat, but it's framed in a unique way in Parashat Mishpatim. Sheshit yamim taseh ma'asecha, for six days you shall do all of your activities, and rest on the seventh day. Observe Shabbat, Tishpot, on the seventh day. So far, so good. So that your um, your ox and your chamor and your donkey shall rest, and the ben amatecha and the, uh, the, the slave and the stranger should also be uh, refreshed, and, and they should also find this... Um, uh, Vinafesh, right? This this um, renewal of spirit uh, for them as well. So this framing is really uh, is, is unique, and I think is significant. Uh, the Sforno hints at this direction, and I, I, I think about it really every year uh, when I encounter this this pasuk. That our observance of Shabbat is not it's not just that that we rest on Shabbat. It's that our resting on Shabbat enables others to to rest as well. I think this is something very very significant. There's really a lot uh, that can be uh, said about this, but. Um, it, it, it's uh, it's really what distinguishes Shabbat from a leisure day, because a leisure day um, in, um, that um, still implicates somebody in economic life and cultural life means that somebody else has to work. If I go to the movie theater, so I might be engaged in recreation, but somebody is selling tickets and somebody is selling popcorn. If, I, um, uh, if I'm driving my car, somebody is selling gasoline and somebody is uh, uh, enforcing traffic laws. Uh, and they're not observing, uh, they're, they're not resting. And, and so it's, it, this, this Pasuk is really um, ex- expressing like a kind of a social collective aspect of Shemirat Shabbat, that everyone's better off when uh, we all have the same day of rest, so we can all have a day where we can be together, um, not just for our own relaxation, but also with our communities and with our families. Uh, and that it's, it's the animals or it's the servants, the strangers, those who are uh, most economically disadvantaged, who most need uh, us to rest so that they also can have uh, a day, a day of rest, a day with their families, um, a day for their own uh, rest and, uh, and renewal. Uh, I think it's there in the Sforno, uh, I, um, I think it's actually shot. it's a plain sense meaning of those verses. I appreciate that so much about, about Israel, which um, is really one of the, maybe the only place where Shabbat has a collective, um, a collective expression rather than just an individual expression of a family or a community. Um, to see an entire uh, city transition to a different uh, different mode of being is, is something really, uh, really special. With all the problematics of uh, religious coercion, which I'm very sensitive to, and not, nothing's easy, but uh, I think there is something very significant about the way that um, um, rich and poor, um, insider and outsider, uh, can all um, can all rest together at the same time when. Uh, as, as a result of, of this, this, this form of, of Shabbat observance. Um, hope you all uh, have a wonderful Shabbat. Uh, I miss you. Look forward to being with you uh, in just a few days and uh, sharing with you all about my experiences here in Israel.